PNPT or the CBBH? Which one would I start first? I was asked that a lot since I put out my last video. I'm going to give you two scenarios on if I started my CERT path all over again, um, which out of the two I would pick first. And then secondly, if I had zero experience in cybersecurity. Let's jump right in. So as I was saying, um, which one would I do first? Uh, if I had to start my pen test cert all over again, as you guys know, I, start, I did the OSCP first. That was my main goal, just to get that shit out of the way. However, I would go back, if I had to do it now, I would do the PNPT first. Why would I do the PNPT first? Because it's gonna be the most, I guess, authentic as it comes to an actual pen test in an organization, um, especially with the debrief. Now, I'll touch on the debrief real quick. For me, it was only about eight minutes. So the way I took it and understand, uh, the person, he asked me some questions. As long as you know what you're talking about, I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to flow real smooth and be real quick. Um, some people I've, I've talked to did do the full between 10 to a little over 15 minutes. Uh, but for the most part, from what I got from him, I don't know how many people they got interviewing. I don't know if they're new. I don't know their skill set. But just off of what I went, how I, you know, how it went for me is as long as you have an understanding of what you're talking about when he asks you questions or she, um, if you could relay it back with full understanding so you know how to talk not only to an executive, but also someone that's really technical. If you got that, those baselines covered, should be, it should be done fairly quick. I just did a, another semi-report. I actually just used ChatGPT, threw it in there, just give me the high-level breakdowns of what I got and then you know um, how can I fix it or remediate it. And that's pretty much what I did. Uh, and then obviously they're gonna have your full report to look at too. Uh, because if you go over the whole thing, it's gonna be you know, longer than 50 minutes, minutes obviously. But <clears throat> I would do this because the training is to the T. Um, Everything's local as far as your labs. Uh, you don't have to worry about repainting your labs and all that shit like that or adding new Q or lab time. Um, like some of the other ones, like Alter Security, you only have 30 days to use the labs or, you know, 60, 90, but you're going to be paying, you know, pretty penny the higher you go. So uh, the other thing is, too, is, you know, you also get the uh, exam attempt for life and you also get a free voucher. Uh, also, the other thing I like about this, again, the training is really, really understanding straight to the T. There's nothing crazy. Now, you're not going to get some of the advanced techniques, especially in Active Directory, like Bloody AD, Certify, at least not, unless it's changed. Um, I, I haven't seen that, but I don't think you're going to go too much in depth uh, in that scenario. Um, DPAPI, stuff like that, I don't think that's going to be in here. So it's going to be more of the baseline. 80 pen testing and understanding as well. Um, and again, the other thing why I like like this is you build out your, your own mini lab, your own mini Active Directory setting. So again, this would be the one I would do first. Um, and now, uh, you know, it, it's, it's worth it. The, in my opinion, I got more bang for the buck than the OSCP in this, um, to be honest with you. The OSCP for me, I, and I can't, I heard the training was a bit better, but the videos still are horrible, the same. Now, for me with this, is um, the, the videos, the training are really, really good, and I could understand it. Um, the videos also, you know, go over, you know, some of the different slides uh, or you know, better understanding from some of the slides that it provided. Um, was it slides or a document? I forgot what it was. But anyway... Like the, vid it's the, vid the training videos are really, really good. Um, I mean, I thought they were at least. So, and then also this one covers pretty much OSINT. I don't know about the OSINT exam. So if you want to pivot off that and get that at a later date or right after, um, I don't know how much that goes into detail, like that OSINT actual exam itself. Um, but let's see, AV and egress bypassing. Yeah, so I think you do a little bit of AMSI stuff in here. Uh, looks like it did get updated. I don't remember doing AMSI when I took it. I don't remember, to be honest with you. 
Um, and yeah, it's literally like a real, I mean, there's no flag. So you got to showcase how you, you would do it in an actual real pen test scenario. So this one would be my first one. Now, <clears throat> I touched on the OSCP and, and CPTS last, uh, last video. So for this, um, I believe about half of these are like 50% are in the um, CPTS pathway. So from PMPT, I would go um, CPTS, and then right after CPTS, I would take this because all the modules are gonna be in that pathway, or not all of them, but uh, most of them. So then the cubes you uh, accumulate from finishing the CPTS, you could finish the whole uh, training path for the CBBH, um, and then obviously buy the voucher. Uh, if you haven't used the free one, if you got the membership, or if you got, I don't know what the student one comes with, like the student um, membership, if that comes with two vouchers or if it's discounted, I, I'm not sure. I've never taken that, you know, membership. I got the, the only one I got was the silver. I think my silver ends pretty soon, actually. Um, so yeah, the, I would I would do this right after the CPTS, just because all the modules, and again, the training is really good. Um, it's nothing too advanced. Uh, and also, you don't need any kind of, for me at least, how I how I you know took it, understood it when I took it, you don't really need like a high level networking and stuff like that. So with that with that going into the um, into the next segue of if I had no experience, which one would I, would I do first? I would definitely do the bug bounty one first. Um, I'm going to go hard on the bug bounty cert. And this is with no experience at all, just fresh off the boat, wanting to just the drive is high to get into pen testing, red teaming, application security, whatever. I am going to hit this one first and then, uh, you know, get this understanding because you got to remember too, um, and I put this video out there during some interviews this year that you have to have web as a foundation now. It has to be external, internal. Web and API, those four cornerstones have to be your foundation. So, and for this training, I would supplement Port Swigger. Port Swigger by far is the best and it's free. I think you only pay for the exam. I don't think the exam is free. I never took the exam, but the training is free. Um, and then also the uh, API University, is that what it's called? API University? That training, it was free. I don't know if it's still free. Um, the exam you would have to pay for, but that one's really good because you also get an understanding of APIs. Uh, APIs, I believe, are going to be in the CPPH, CBBH, if I remember. There was one that is definite. I think it was flag two for me that was on the CPTS. And at that time, a, uh, APIs weren't really covered in here at all. So that one kind of threw me for a curve. But I would go again. This is no experience. I'm going CBBH, supplementing that with Port Swigger and API. Remember, these aren't just great trainings, they are free. Uh, you know, the API security and Port Swigger. Port Swigger is the best by far. So, that is, uh, that is pretty much you know, the main gist of this video. Uh, that's what I would do again if I'm coming off fresh from where I started in 2000 or 2024. Start the OSCP, OSCP, I'm done. I'm going PCMs, PMPT first, jumping to the CPTS, then to the CBBH to utilize those cubes and finish it off. If I have no experience. I am going straight to the CBBH, supplementing with Port Swigger and API Sec University. I think that's what it's called, API University or API Sec University. The training is free. And again, it's really, really good. And then uh, after CBBH, then I'm going to hit the PNPT. Um, and then whatever supplemental training I need for uh, networking, TCP understanding, uh, you know, subnetting, all that shit is free on YouTube and you got some of the best going over that. So that there should be no excuse. You shouldn't really have to pay for that. I know um, TCM has some training that they made free that uh, you used to have to pay for the course. Uh, I don't know where it would actually be practical help desk associate malware mobile network. Uh, yeah, I don't know where that would be. Uh, don't. This one wasn't there when I got it. Uh, help desk. 
Yeah, I don't. I thought they. I know they had a Linux one because you need a, a understanding of Linux. Um, I don't see it here actually anymore. Oh, I think they took it off. But anyway, yeah, Linux, networking, TCP, um, subnetting, stuff like that. You are going to need a basic knowledge and understanding. So I would supplement that with the PMPT. It is possible to do. Um, that that would be you know my recommendation, and that's how I would do it personally. Um, just knowing how I learn and how my brain functions, that's that is doable for me. Other people are different. Other people might need to do the networking first. Other people might just be able to pick it up during just doing ethical hacking, PNPT, offensive security, whatever. Some people can do that. I, I mean, everyone's different. So again, these these two recommendations are off of what I would personally do. Um, I'm not telling you how to, you, this is the end all be all. This is how I would do it if I had to start over in 2025 with these two certs, um, which ones would I take first? So that's it for the video. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know, know, let me know if you agree or if you would do something different in the comments. And uh, I'll see you guys back on the next one. Have a good one.